To date, I'm quite happy with how my career has turned out. I do what I love and I get compensated fairly well to do it. I owe a massive portion of any success I might've had to knowledge that I've gained from books. There are five in particular that permanently altered my career trajectory. I can't help but think, where would I have been now if I had read these books earlier? Now, I'm telling you these five books plus two extra bonus ones, so you don't have to have any what ifs like I do. And the number five slot is a book called Never Split the Difference by Chris Voss. While the book is supposed to be about negotiation, I think it's really about understanding how to empathize with people. This book taught me that the best way to get what you want out of a professional situation is to try to understand the other people involved without necessarily butting heads with them to begin with. This is one of the single best books about getting what you want out of work and life. The next book on this list is called So Good They Can't Ignore You by Cal Newport. What do you think gives you the most freedom at work? As it turns out, it's actually just being really freaking good at your job. If you're irreplaceable, you have tremendous leverage. This book is all about how to get great at what you do by focusing on your strengths. It also highlights how passion comes from aptitude rather than the other way around. This book is great at changing your worldview, and I think it's particularly useful to those who aren't quite sure about what they're really interested in and where they wanna go. The third book on this list is called Crucial Conversations, and it was written by, by multiple authors. The truth is, in work, you're gonna disagree. You're gonna have tense, high stakes situations, and this book is a guide map for how to navigate them. As it so happens, this one is also great for any relationship, even personal ones. Coming in number two on my list is a book called The Four Disciplines of Execution. This book is great for managers and individual contributors alike. I actually run my entire life with the system from this book. It has a framework for high level execution in anything that you do, and it's something that anyone can implement with relative ease. It only takes four steps to get your shit together. The single most valuable book to me in my career, and maybe my life, is coincidentally called The One Thing. This one's filled with strategies for focusing on the single highest leverage point in your work life. It extrapolates on what's known as the Pareto Principle. This principle suggests that there are only a few things in your work or life that have a disproportionate impact on your success. If you dominate these few things, or even just one single thing that makes the biggest impact, you'll see career progress that you wouldn't believe. I actually attribute the majority of my YouTube growth, especially in the first year, to this principle and this book. It turns out the idiom, don't put all your eggs in one basket, is wrong. Putting all your eggs in one basket and tending to it with your life will take you far further. And let's definitely not forget about our two bonus books. They were too good for me to ignore. The first one is called Deep Work by the same author as So Good They Can't Ignore You. And this book has everything you need to know about limiting distractions and increasing output. The second book is called Atomic Habits. So habits are the backbone of personal and professional success. And this book shows you how to build them and sustain them. I hope that these books are as valuable to you in your career as they have been for me in mine. Have you read any of them already? Let me know what you thought of them in the comment section below. Now, until next time, good luck on your learning journey.